Sports Slab Train, welcome back today, guys, to the channel. Do you remember this game? Need for Speed Undercover, fan favorite of mine. Um, you know, this was a part of our Need for Speed childhood growing up. This actually came out November 18th, 2008. Now, if we rewind previous titles before Undercover came out, in 2007 we had Pro Street, 2006 was Need for Speed Carbon, and then even 2004 was Need for Speed Underground 2. So, so leading up towards Undercover, uh, you know, we experienced, you know, the previous Need for Speeds that really just shaped what we loved about the game. And this was no different, it had a great storyline to it. Um, you know, I do feel that I remember part of the gameplay I wished was a little bit more in-depth with customization i could be wrong though i could be wrong it's very hard to remember this game at the moment but i do know we already played the entire undercover series on our channel we redid this game like a long time ago but i figured i'd come back to it it was one of four in the bin four for 40 i couldn't say no to undercover bring it back into my collection to complete the need for speed set and if you guys do want to see any other games played for do you remember this game don't forget to leave them in the comment section ladies and gentlemen don't forget this to slap that changed. like button these guys in their cars, no regard for anyone. It's time to put a stop to what's going on around here. I really do miss the Need for Speed franchise though. And I mean, if you guys can give me in a nutshell, what happened with the Need for Speed team from, you know, Pro Street, from Underground 2, I know they don't really exist anymore. I'm pretty sure about that unless they move companies with them. But, um, you know, what happened to the Need for Speed game developers, man? Leave it in the comment section down below. Give me some insight. Please, man, because I do really would like to know. I would like to know what the hell happened, man, because we had such a great franchise, and I mean, now it's really, you know, it's different. It's a lot different from what we're used to. And I mean, I'm not saying it's bad now. It's just, obviously, Need for Speed 2015 was terrible. Rivals was terrible. I mean, and, you know, the amount of games that I don't like coming from Need for Speed is a lot more than what it was back in the day. I mean, that's all I'm getting at right now. Uh, we're in a beautiful... Oh, my God. Okay. Well, we were in a beautiful 350Z right now, but we just hit the wall. I'm so sorry. Physics. A little different. They're not as bad as 2015. Oh, that's all I'm going to say right now. We can actually control the car mid-slide. Not... Oh, shit. I just downshifted. Sorry. Let's try and get through here. Let's try and get through. I'm in neutral. Why am I in neutral? I thought I went down to first. What did I do? Oh, my God, man. This is terrible. I want a different view. Oh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I don't look back. Buttons, man. I am missing my buttons. Holy shit. Yep, it's not good. We got cops. Oh, we went right through it. Okay. We got cutscenes. Yes, man. Cutscenes. Looking pretty much like most wanted, right? I mean, oh, man. I just, I just missed the style of Need for Speed back in the day, man. That's all I'm saying. Let me know what you miss about Need for Speed in the comment section down below. Now, reviews on Need for Speed Undercover, 6 out of 10 on Steam, but GameSpot, though, 9 out of 10. They enjoyed it. People are just going to waltz in here and do whatever the hell you want to do. This is not up for discussion. You've had quite an impressive run. Damn right, girl. Your recent undercover operation posing as a wheelman to bust car thieves has been exceptional. But these local police things can take months, if not years, to execute. I don't have that kind of time. We only have a couple of weeks. The FBI is stepping in. I'll be your new point person. We suspect one of the local street racing crews may be involved with an international smuggling ring. Look, lady, pardon me for butting in here, but these kind of crews, they just don't go do that Karen sort of Keller, smuggling. my office doesn't care about turbocharged street thugs. We're looking to recover evidence that we believe is linked to a shipment of cars stolen from the dock a few weeks ago. This evidence will convict a network of crime lords in half a dozen countries, and we reason to believe that the cars may be in the possession of one of the street crews. Now, they're going to need a wheelman. Your job is to drive. Oh, I got my this, girl. to get you in. Nothing more and nothing less. The only thing I didn't like about this was that you never really got to see yourself. And I mean, obviously they did that for many reasons, but uh, you know, I just really can follow the character in that sense sometimes. But I mean, this one here, I don't think that you ever really see your character, I'm pretty sure. And let me know, is Cross in Undercover? I need to know this, man, I love Cross. I really wish that he makes an appearance back in Payback. Everyone. Everyone! Just everybody, right? I mean, goddamn, raises so. We're here, a little free roam sesh. 
and uh, we just get to kind of cruise around, which I do like. Um, so A is going to be handbrake. Where is nitrous? Because I see, no, I don't, oh shit, I don't even have nitrous. I got slow, oh I forgot about that. God damn, okay, so we do have the ability to slow down time. Um, a feature that was pretty cool, and I think was utilized, oh my god, yeah. I forget what games actually utilize that slow-mo. Um, I do believe Most Wanted had it, I think. Shit, man, my memory's terrible for old Need for Speed games with features. Look at this, man, god damn. Slow it down, slide it out, what do you know about that? There we go, bring it back. Oh, shit. Oh, my. We're going Ocean and Wilson Circuit. Now, if you had to choose one Need for Speed out of the entire collection, what would it be there's no rules there's no you know it has to be on this console or not any need for speed that has ever come out let me know down below your favorite um i know there's a lot of need for speed online fans as well too back in the day that was a really big game unfortunately i never got into it i think it was more or less a pay to play kind of game and i didn't really have a pc back in the day anyways for it. but here we go though man first race we're in a beautiful 240 uh i keep dropping a gear every time I upshift. I think my stick may be a little bit worn in, and that's why we're gonna try and take, the oh, there we go. That was a nice ass corner. Not a big fan of the music playing in the background, to be completely honest. Oh, I forgot about those. Take care. All right, this music has got to go, man. This is absolutely terrible. No, handbrake. Ooh, solid drift. Look at that. They are way behind right now, coming up to our second lap. This is not even a goddamn competition right now, man. Son of a chit. Henry. Ooh. Just those gears, man. The gears are the only issue right now. I keep going down every time I go up. It's kind of frustrating. Reverse entry. Let's get it. Just kidding. But I'll take an aggressive slide in, though. Split time, 12 seconds there behind. Oh my god, what a shit show right now. And I just miss the story modes that we used to have, man. I mean, god damn. Need for Speed, though, growing up, was a great franchise to be following. I mean, ever since Need for Speed Underground 1, with that intro scene of the cars transforming into, you know, souped up and, you know, just over the top modifications. It was, it was a great thing to witness, you know, being a part of that growing up. And seeing it all unfold but um you know i just i just miss the roots of need for speed and i you know a lot of you guys will say oh well you know the roots started with you know cops on playstation and all that stuff which is which is completely understandable i get that you know hot pursuit i love the game as well too um but i'm saying i think the roots of the underground series and i think that's where a lot of fans started becoming involved in need for speed correct me if i'm wrong but that's just my personal opinion man so we need to do uh, cross slope and ocean sprint. I don't want to do that. Choose from more events using the GPS map. We just got to keep going. I want to do something right now, man. Oh, I went to cars. What is it? Where's that going to take me? Ooh, we got, oh, garage. Ooh, here we go. Okay, so visuals. I want to see what was actually available. Oh, we have everything on this shit. Okay, we got auto sculpt. Oh, what happened to auto sculpt? Why did they take that shit? I have no idea. I thought it was the coolest thing to ever hit need for speed they brought it in and as fast as they brought it in you know they left it in for a few but uh, they just they just never really brought it back and you know i'm maybe payback will have it i highly doubt it obviously we know it's not going to have it um but front and rear wheels both customizable same as pro street and obviously pro street was before this so you guys can kind of see that i mean it has that same kind of customization to pro street as you can tell um but, oh my god. Look at the wings, man. There was a lot of wings here. Carbon fiber. God damn, you just don't get customization like this in a game anymore. You really don't. And I mean, it's it's a little frustrating, man. I feel like games are being worried about graphics too much. And, you know, they're not worrying about what's inside of the game. You know, being able to have more customization. You know, being able to have more of a story to it. And, you know, just more in-depth to the game to make it more replayable and, you know, to really engage the person playing it. And unfortunately, you know, it's just, it's sometimes people want to see better graphics. And, I mean, myself, I would be content 
with a game that did not have cutting edge graphics, but had, you know, three times as big a story mode than something that did. I mean, I don't know. That's just me. Let me know your thoughts down below. Obviously, it's got to be decent graphics. It's got to be playable, right? But shit, man. Ooh, we sliding. We're going with the sprint. Let's get it. I like how it just kind of jump in, jump out of these sprints, and, uh, you know, we're in and out. Another great game, actually, after this. So this came out in 2008. The next game to come out was Need for Speed Shift, which um, I wasn't a huge fan of growing up. I do remember seeing it at Blockbuster, um, and it was always rented out, and I wanted it, but I never ended up getting it in time. And then I finally got it. More or less track racing in that sense. Obviously, Pro Street was the same, but it was a different feel for it, right? It was a little bit of a different style gameplay. Um, but, you know, I still enjoyed it. It was Need for Speed at the time. And Shift 1, I think I enjoyed it more after picking up the game again later. I mean, that's just me, though, but... Um, oh, shit, look at this damn Solstice! What the... No, it's a Saturn, isn't it? Saturn Sky! What the... Oh, my God. I forgot that was in the game, man. And then after Shift was Hot Pursuit... Oh, my God! Look at the damage! Oh, my God, we actually have proper damage. Oh, that's sick, okay. Once again, um, just little things, right? I mean, the little things make the game, man. That's all I'm saying. Reverse, oh, sh that's a bad idea right there. That's a bad idea. Need for Speed, Hot Pursuit 2010 was next in line. And then after Need for Speed, Hot Pursuit, let's watch this rubber band effect come into play, hopefully, anyways, right? But after Hot Pursuit was Need for Speed, the run. And uh, that game holds a special place in my heart. Uh, I really enjoyed that for the story mode, for the uniqueness of the game. It was a little bit of a faster playthrough, which was the only thing that sucked about it. Um, oh, why am I in neutral though, man? It's like I got a damn... Oh! Why are you going to neutral? How is that even possible on a controller? I don't even know how that's possible. I really don't. Neutral on a controller. Am I just not going into gear properly? Like, what the hell is happening, man? Split time, 9 seconds. I got this. 82%? Get a little draft? Cut this corner, beautiful. Oh, Ricky Bobby style. Excuse me. Wow, I'm not even first right now. I thought I just jumped into first. It's only second and we're having a drag race to the finish. He's got the man muscle. Okay, I see you. I see you. Camaro beats 240 any day of the week on the top end. All right, all right. What do you think, man? You think that actually happened? Let me know. Damn, man. Everybody after the race just got clobbered in the tunnel. Look at everybody. This guy is holding up traffic. Excuse me, 180. Oh, shit. I guess another throwback uh, to the games from our childhood. We did a recent playthrough on Driver 1, I believe. If we haven't, uh, we should. But I saw on Facebook uh, the other day, it was saying that Driver 1 came out like 18 years ago. Man. I cannot believe it has been that long since Driver 1. I really can't. I, oh, my. All right. Cops are coming. Oh, shit. I'm going to go ahead and get some skids out in the middle of the road here and wait for this 5-0 to approach the intersection. Uh, but as I was saying, though, Driver 1, I remember playing that with my rig. And I actually had a steering wheel. Oh, shit. We got cops, 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 cops. Let's go. Let's go. Excuse me. But that game, though. The memories on Driver 1, though, for me, was a lot of fun. I mean, with the wheel, it wasn't anything crazy. It was just, you know, left, right, gas, brake. But... To me, though, back in the day, that was, you know, just as good as being at an arcade. And, you know, that was, you know, so fun being able to just drive normally and just trying to act like you're just a regular car out there and trying not to get caught by the cops. Um, I don't think I really remember playing any of the story mode with it because it was a little bit harder to get used to, especially with no force feedback. I don't even... I'm trying to think if it even had force feedback. I don't think it did, to be honest with you. Oh, shit. Yep. We're okay. We're okay. We're going to take him through this. Bring them through. These guys go. Now there is a. Uh, you don't need to know shit, lady. We're about to lose these fools. Oh, I should have went down the other way. We're gonna hit a damn 180 on them. They ain't gonna see shit. Look at them. Oh, excuse. Oh, damn. They're smart. Excuse me. Good old damn 180, hey? That's like old school king, team free shit on Need for Speed. No, sir, man. Sorry, I can't do that. Oh, no! 
Here we go. We're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. Cops gonna run right into it too. Watch. Or not. Bad idea. We got another one up here too. Here we go. We're gonna wall tap it. Oh, did I get it? I got it. That was sick. This guy said, give me everything you got, man. You don't want that. So I'll give you everything I got at the same time, and we'll see who's better. Who? Here we go. We're going to take out this little scaffolding right here. Yep, thank you. Have a great afternoon, officers. Oh, shit. We got them all down, though. We got them all down. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Surprise, our car is even running right now. I'll take it. Oh, my God, the cooldown spots. I totally forgot about cooldown. I'm going, I'm going. Damn, I should sit down one day and just do a Need for Speed marathon and just play the shit out of them. I think that'll be a lot of fun. Let me know your thoughts on Need for Speed Undercover. Did you play it as a kid? Are you playing it now? I really enjoyed coming back to this. This actually kind of just threw me right back into the roots of Need for Speed. And makes me want to uh, revisit Need for Speed Underground 1. Because I haven't played that actually on the channel ever. So maybe that'll be a game to play very soon. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. All are found down below. If you guys have not entered into our Wheel Stand Pro giveaway that we're doing, uh, that is going to be ending at the end of next week. I will leave the link down below for you guys to check out. Thank you guys once again. Don't forget to slap that like button. To put a side trade, I'm out. Peace. <laughs> Double low speed, double low shit